Hello viewers. In today's video, we are going to see reading for viewpoints. This section is the last section of the CELPIP reading. My name is Sridhar Santanam and I'm the founder of CELPIP Academy. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and smash the like button. Also comment below. This way I'll be able to come up with more such videos in the future for you. All right, let's see what do we have here. Adapting to a new country. Okay, let's read the following passage. You'll be given 12 questions and you have to answer them all. Moving to a new country is never easy. I should know, I learned firsthand how challenging it can be to arrive in an unfamiliar place, not knowing much about the people, the language, the weather, and the way things work. There were things I went through that would make me the person that I am today. All right, question number one. The writer, A, never moved to a new country easily. B, moved to a new country not knowing it would be easy. C, never found it easy to move to a new country. D, found some difficulties adjusting to a new country. So according to the paragraph, we know that D is the right answer. Found some difficulties adjusting to a new country. All right, then. Let's move on to the next question. Question number two. According to the writer, A, unfamiliar places can be learned firsthand. B, there is a challenge to a specific situation. C, arriving firsthand can be a challenge. D, it can be a challenge to know a lot about something. So according to the writer, B is the right answer. There is a challenge to a specific situation. What was the situation? It can be to arrive in unfamiliar place, not knowing much about the people, the language, the weather, and the way things work. So these are the few things, all right? So B is the right answer. Question number three, the writer arrived from abroad, A, knowing little about the new country, B, with no knowledge of the new country, C, not knowing anything about the new country, D, knowing a little about the new country. In fact, the answer to the question three is the writer arrived from abroad knowing little about the new country. So right, A is the right answer. Question number four. Shortly after the arrival, the family A issued a variety of languages. B started with a variety of languages. C had some problems. D issued some language problems. So according to the paragraph, we know that C is the right answer, had some problems. All right. Now, question number five. In grade 10, the writer wanted to A, come across more than friendly, B, be desperate, C, understand what was being said, D, meet new people. Let's read the second paragraph. The experience of leaving my homeland was in itself emotional. I had never been abroad before. That was about 14 years ago. I arrived in Canada with many my parents, my brother and my sister. At that time, none of the none of us spoke much English. So we had a variety of language issues right from the start. I was put into grade 10, and although I understood most of what was being said, I really couldn't respond. So I probably came across as less than friendly, although I was desperate to make friends in my new country. So according to the paragraph, in grade 10, the writer wanted to meet new people. That means he wanted to make new friends. So D is the right answer. Question number six, the writer's classmates A were curious, B answered many questions, C stood up in front of the class, D were already friends with the writer. Let us read from the passage to see what could be the ideal answer. All right. So we left exactly at, I really couldn't respond. So I probably came across as less than friendly, although I was desperate to make friends in my new country. Now I have to read the uh, next sentence. I remember having to stand up in front of the class while my classmates bombarded me with questions. Where are you from? 
When's your birthday? What kind of music do you like? Do you guys speak English in your country? It was agonizing being able to understand the questions, yet not being able to answer with any fluency. So the writer's classmates were curious, all right? So A is the right answer. Question number seven. The writer used the negative experience A to improve, B to give an incentive, C to feel pain, D to watch movie. All right, let's read the paragraph. It was agonizing being able to understand the question, yet not being able to answer with any fluency. Well, luckily the teacher asked everyone to slow down and to give me a chance to respond. I think I gave one word answers for every single question with the exception of when's your birthday, to which I gave one word and a one number response. All right. So to answer to the question number seven, the writer used a negative experience to improve. A is the right answer. Because remember, he was using the negative experience by giving one word answers. All right then. Question number eight. In the writer's opinion, the most important thing he did was to dash. A, watch TV. B, listen to the radio. C, try to adapt to the society. D, improve his spoken English. So C would be the ideal answer because it says try to adapt to the new society. So that's what he did. Okay. So part three of the subsection four, I can totally relate to what you went through. I came here as a teenager from Eastern Europe. It was pleasant, painful, precarious, possible for me to go to school every day because I didn't know a word of English. So ideally, painful could be the right answer because I can totally relate to what you went through. I came here as a teenager from Eastern Europe. It was painful for me to go to school every day. It cannot be pleasant. It cannot be precarious or it cannot be possible. It doesn't make any sense. So painful is the right answer. Everyone just looked at me at first, dash expecting, allowing, hoping, considering me to be able to speak in English. Expecting would be the right answer because everyone just looked at me at first, expecting me to be able to speak English. All right. It was pretty awkward. I just smiled back at everyone. At least I was able to speak, smile, solve, answer. So I just smiled back at everyone. At least I was able to smile should be the right answer because it's already given in the previous sentence. All right then. I made friends pretty fast. And after hanging out with them for a few minutes, months, years, decades, I caught up onto the language pretty fast. So ideally it should be the months because if we read here, a few sentences in the last paragraph, although it was quite a painful experience, it also gave me the incentive to pick up the language as fast as possible. I started watching English TV for about an hour every day. I listened to the radio every night before bed and I read as much as English as I could lay my hands on. But the most significant thing I did was to embrace my opportunity to immerse myself in the culture. I made friends with several of my classmates and I greeted and chatted with a, with my neighbors on a daily basis within only a few months. So months should be the right answer. All other question and answer, question, answer to the questions were easy. So we could easily pick up from the sentences itself. So for the 12th question, months should be the ideal answer. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. See you on the other side. Thanks for watching.